excited because I'm doing my first collaboration video. Um, I'm doing it with Crescent W. Definitely check out her channel. I will link it down below. The look that I went with is from JLo's Same Girl video is where she's sitting on the stairs and she has a really shiny red lip and her eyeshadow has like this wet metallic look to it. So I tried to recreate it as best as I could and I hope you guys really like it. And yep, if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay guys, let's begin. First I'm going to take this eyeshadow primer and apply it all over my lid. And then I go ahead and take this eyeshadow base and just apply it from my eyebrow to my crease because I'm going to be applying a different cream um, to, on my lid. And then I take Foxy from the Naked 2 palette and use it as my brow bone highlight. Next I'm going to be taking Kokomo Cafe from Coastal Scents and using it as my transition color. And I just apply it with a 286 brush and um, apply it in windshield wiper motions going back and forth from one end of my crease to the next. Then on to my lid. I'm going to use this color tattoo from Maybelline. Um, it's in the color Barely Beige. Um, I think it was limited edition. Um, and I just apply it on my lid with my pinky and then I go ahead and blend it out. You only have to use a very tiny bit. Now I'm going to take Snake Bite from the same Naked 2 palette and apply it to my outer corner with a pencil brush. Um, and then I also go ahead and blend it out with the same 286 brush um, just because I want to make sure that there are no harsh lines because JLo in her video um, you can't really tell if she's wearing more than one or two eyeshadows so um, that's why I want to make sure that everything is blended out smoothly so I can try to recreate um, the same effect that she has going on in the video then here I'm going to be taking Suspect from the Naked 2 palette and applying it to my lid with a flat shader brush. Um, I also kind of use a windshield wiper motion to apply this eyeshadow just because I want to make sure that I get it all over my lid and that I don't really miss any spots. Then I go back over with the 286 um, in my crease. Now I'm going to be taking this NYX pigment and applying it wet to my eyelid with a different shader brush. Um, and just, I know you guys are going to ask me where I got it. Um, I got it from Forever 21 a really long time ago, but I do love it and it works really well. Um, and then I go back over my crease with the 286 brush again. Now I'm going to be lining my eyes with this Maybelline um, gel eyeliner and I'm only lining them very, very thinly if that's a word, um, very, very thin, um, just so I can be able to camouflage the um, my false eyelashes. Now I'm going to take a snake bite, or snake bite um, with the pencil brush and apply it to the outer half of my bottom lash line. Then I take Suspect with the same pencil brush, um, just wipe off any excess, and I'm going to be applying it to the inner half of my bottom lash line. Now I'm going to take Kokomo Cafe with a blending brush and just smoke out that bottom lash line area. Um, using the transition color really helps accomplish that. And then I just reapply some Snake Bite. Now I'm going to take the same pigment and apply it to my tear duct area because she does have, um, it looks like she has like a really light champagne gold in her tear duct area. Um, and now I'm going to apply mascara to my bottom lashes. And that should complete the eyes. Um, it's actually really simple. I'm just here touching up um, my transition color and then a little bit of my brow bone highlight just to make sure everything is blended really well. Now I'm going to do the lips. I'm lining my lips with this waterproof uh, liner from NYX. It's in the color red. And um, first I just line my lips um, normally and um, I go ahead next and uh, I can't really talk. <laughs> I go ahead and next fill in the corners. And um, after I fill in the corners, um, I also make the top and bottom line just a little bit thicker, uh, just so it, I feel, can blend in with the actual lip cream better. Um, I don't know. And this is also a way, if you wanted to learn how to do ombre lips, this is pretty much the technique. Um, and then I'm going to take this Extreme Shine Lip Cream. It's in the color Spice from NYX as well and it, it really is really shiny and it was like perfect because in the video her red lipstick is super shiny um, and I thought it was like a, a really good match. Um, but yeah, that pretty much completes the look. I just go ahead and put a Q-tip in my mouth to get off any excess lipstick on the inside and I hope you guys like this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.